Hello and welcome. In this lecture, we will see what are the rights that we have to copy and share technical material. In particular, we will discuss about copyrights, creative commons and other licensing. What is copyright? Copyright is the right given to the author or publisher to copy a material. A copyright does not protect an ideas, a patent protects an ideas. Anybody can use the idea that is written in a material. What copyright protects is only the expression of the idea. Copyright says that you cannot express a particular copyrighted material in a tangible form. A tangible form means a print, a drawing, a photograph, a computer file or a video. But with permission, any material that is copyrighted can be re-expressed or copied by somebody else. Usually, in most countries, there is no particular authority or a government body that gives a copyright. A copyright is automatic. The first expression in a fixed tangible form, one of these forms like print, drawing, graph, photograph, computer file is itself a right. The author can simply put a copyright symbol. Nobody gives this. It is not like a trademark symbol that has to be registered. The author themselves can put a copyright symbol against their work. Now, what is copyright infringement? Infringement of copyright means large scale copying of a copyrighted material without giving credit or without taking permissions. It could also be a small use, but it causes a loss to the owner of the copyright or it, causes, or it gives a lot of profit gains to the copier. Denying credit is also an infringement of copyright. Now, who decides how much has been infringed? Now, this is mostly decided by the courts when the original copyright holder files a petition. The courts decide on the extent of copyright infringement keeping in mind the fair use. So, what is a fair use? Is all material that is copyrighted that cannot be used? No. The law provides that in certain cases, copyrighted materials can be used without taking permission. So, what are these cases where copyrighted materials can be used without permission, but with credit? There are three or four important criteria. One is for what kind of purposes? There are certain purposes such as teaching, research, reporting, criticism or something which is called as a transformative or in which you take a copyrighted material and interpret it in a totally new area or a new discipline. It could be related to non-profit organization or it is restricted to a small private group such as your class. The second point on which fair use is decided is the amount of that material that is being copyrighted and the substantiality of the material that has been copied. A few sentences is usually ok. Again, if it is a few sentences, but that is the core contribution, then that is not ok. What does the act of copying lead to, to the original copyright holder. Does it cause a significant financial loss because it has been copied? 
Such are the points that are decided by the courts to decide whether a material has been infringed. Now, here are some best practices that we can follow. Firstly, try to seek permission to use the material for your own purposes. If you cannot get, take the sentences and rephrase them. For images, plots or schematics, use the core idea and redraw them with your own modifications or your own intellectual or creative contributions. But in all the cases, make sure you credit the original work. You check for fair use with your colleagues or seniors who might be familiar with the extent to which a particular material can be copied. Very important that irrespective of taking permissions or not, which is not in your hands many times, you should always credit the work. For example, you can say, this figure has been taken with permission from scientific publishers limited, in case you have taken permission. In case you could not get permission and you have taken the figure and modified it, you could state figure adapted from Raman et al 1925 or you think it is not required to modify and the original form is as good as it has been conveyed. Now, for something which is currently being used in uh, sharing of uh, public knowledge, copyright was used much before the invent of the current era. With the advent of internet, there came what is known as GNU general public license. So, this was a copyright kind of license given to softwares, but it was not called copyright, but copy left. So, what did it stress? It stressed that software that is written by individuals must be free free not in sense of cost, but free as in freedom. Freedom to use computer codes, freedom to modify and freedom to distribute the same codes to others. Now, because it is exactly opposite to what is copyright law stand for, it is also called as a copy left with an symbol which is an inverted C. So, that was for softwares, but now that has been adapted to lot of other creative work and that is called as a creative commons licensing and is written with a double C, CC, very similar to the copyright symbol. Now, creative commons is again founded on the GNU GPL licensing. It applies to any creative content. For example, Wikipedia, it is a very famous example, MIT courseware and this very lecture that you are seeing. All of them are under creative commons licensing. The advantage of creative common licensing is that it gives the a license holder the flexibility to decide what kind of sharing they desire. There is four different levels of sharing license that is used in creative commons. First is ownership, second is the commercial aspect, third is how you can share and fourth is how you can modify. So, firstly the ownership is given by a symbol with a person in a picture. You have to give credit. If the copyright holder says this, then all the derivatives must always give credit to the original contributor. A license holder can also say that 
it cannot be used for commercial purposes that means it is a non-commercial license. They can also add a share alike license which means when this material has been modified and shared it has to be shared in the same set of licensing principles as was used originally. Derivatives is whether can you modify the work or you have to share it alike. These are some examples of creative common licensing as you will find. So, if something is written as by NCSA that means you have to credit the original author, you cannot use it for commercial purposes and you have to share alike. It could be simply by and NC, give credit to the original author and do not use it for commercial purposes. Now, find out how this particular video has been shared under creative licensing. Thank you for listening.